drive down Cotton Street in Macon tonight and you'll see a change. Construction crews moved in early this morning to start moving the Confederate statue there to its new location at Whittle Park. That's just outside Rose Hill Cemetery. Anthony Montalto was there today watching the progress. And Anthony, what do folks think about this move? Lori, we got a lot of mixed reactions. Some people told us they didn't want to see this statue moved at all, but most people did say they think it's a good compromise rather than remove it completely. Before the sounds of construction equipment pierced the morning air, a sunrise standoff. History is gone once they remove it. On the steps of the Cotton Avenue Confederate statue. I've been out here since 10 o'clock last night, just sitting here, just remembering the monument, not really trying to protest, not really trying to cause a scene. Andrew Tripp said he was worried about the statue being harmed during the move. Buster Slocum with Midstate Steel says he would not let that happen. His crew worked for hours to get it just right. The statue weighed about 10,000 pounds itself, and all the pieces and parts add, add up to about 198,000. This statue and a smaller one on Poplar Street will move to Whittle Park outside Rose Hill Cemetery. It means, you know, actually creating conversation and realizing the mistakes of the past. Clifford McDonald, who organized a protest aimed at moving the statue in 2020, says the move is a step in the right direction. Realizing what this area was originally used for and that maybe it's not the proper place for a monument. McDonald took some time off today to be there, but others like Tony Price and Kathy Young. I saw the news story stumbled across the work as it happened. So I figure, uh, why not come out and see what was going on? I enjoy riding my bicycle in the mornings and I pass by. Young says the new location is a good spot. She hopes the county will expand the green space on Cotton Avenue as planned. They can have music and everybody eats and browses the street. Sounds like a great idea. Now, County Spokesman Chris Floor says the county is moving forward with that green space plan. He says they're in the design process now. Live in Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks a lot, Anthony. And after they finish moving that bigger statue, the construction crew will focus on the smaller statue on Poplar Street. Buster Slocum says they hope to be finished by Friday.